up guys welcome back to our channel we are at children's hospital today for a doctor's appointment for tamia and do you want to tell them what is happening today <laughs> we are at children's hospital right now she already told you today we are going to be deciding a very important thing of whether i'm going to take this treatment rituximab that um chemo patients take and it depends on my test results if i'm going to take it or not yeah it's kind of big news today uh we're getting her test results back and we're going to decide whether or not to move forward so we're about to head in there Okay, so it's the morning of, and we went to the doctor earlier in the week, and we discussed her latest test levels. There were certain markers we were looking for to help us make the decision on whether or not we were going to move forward with the treatment of rituximab. And unfortunately, we did not see what we were hoping to see, so we have decided to move forward with the treatment. The, the ultimate hope is that it will put her in remission and this will be perhaps maybe, you know, the end of us having to deal with this on a regular basis. She'll still have to be, you know, monitored and, and get tested ever so often to make sure things are still running smoothly. But ultimately, the hope with this is that her kidneys stop leaking the protein. You know, that's that's the ultimate hope here. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's, there's a few different things that can happen. It can lessen it. It can take it away altogether. Sometimes it takes it away and it comes back and you have to do the treatment again. But ultimately what's best for her is that she at least needs some period of time where her kidneys aren't leaking. Or it's going to start causing more damage long term. Yeah, and that's that's really the reason why this is so concerning. Where she is now is it's not what I would call extremely dangerous, but over a long enough period of time, it's going to cause some serious complications for her down the road. So the goal here is to prevent that from happening. You know, we're doing everything we can now to ensure a better future for, for my daughter. 
Yeah, and not only that, the medicine that she has to be on to keep her kidneys from leaking so much, it has horrible side effects. So the the real hope here is that it it makes it to where she doesn't have to be on so much medicine anymore that you know makes her joints hurt and makes her throw up and you know just has her so tired all of the time so yeah, and really right now the only the only reason her kidneys aren't leaking much more protein than they are is because of the drugs that she's already on so yeah. we're hoping that this can eliminate all of those things so prayers up Let's hope for some yeah. some good results. Well, let's get it done. See you guys later. We're headed in. Okay, I'll move along with your things a little bit. Should I get a little beat going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this cool machine is going to be a large thing. Pretty cool, huh? I'll show you. So look, you see that on there? That's a vein. Just do one again with my pointy finger. All right, my friends. You want the spray or no? I can spray it before I go. Let me spray it. You want me to spray it? I can spray it if you want. Yes? No? Should I? Not being sure, baby. It might make it a little Easier. less painful, yeah. You want me to? They don't go in that vein a lot either, so, you know. You don't want the spray. Okay. All right, my friend. Okay, if I go, you want me to spray? Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm. Take some deep breaths, baby. She's a little steamy. Oh, you're doing fantastic. I don't think you like your veins in me either. All right, I'm not going to keep doing that to you. You can see my light. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Okay? You ready, my friend? I'm going to call him out. Hold him on, Sam. Go ahead. Could this actually hurt? Can we do this yeah, spray? I know. Can yes. we do this spray one? Okay. I'm going to find the perfect spot for this and have you hold it, okay? Okay. You ready? It's going to feel cold for a second, all right? One, two, three, four, six, oh, seven, God. eight, nine. Like that. Oh my God. It's really cold. Oh, I can't feel it. That's good. I don't want you to feel it. I can't. Can't feel so it at all? <laughs> it's like when your foot falls asleep. Mm-hmm, it's a little cold spray. Because it goes by heat. That's what's happening here with the cold spray. Okay. Take a lot of I'm going to try one last time. Yeah. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm going to get Miss Brandy to come take a look. She's been doing this about as long as I have. <gasps> oh, yeah. And that one's definitely right there. See that big circle? I have to take that one. Where did the light see you? That's how your arm looks like. You see, now watch. Okay, we do what's called a wink test. So that's a vein. And when I press on it, it winks at you. You see this one down here? Watch what happens to it when I press on it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't wink. What did, so what do you think that is? Is it bad? It's not bad. It just means it's your artery. So I don't want to stick that. <laughs> See? No.
the target sign. Yeah, did you get it? <gasps> you got it. Awesome. <gasps> and it's Thank not in you. your elbow, so we don't have to do the Thank little so board much. or anything. Oh, I'm Thank so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the go-to for getting Sometimes, the bangs? yeah. Sometimes. Because not everybody knows how to use this machine, so. Yeah. She's a hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You can, yeah. No, that you're taking, that's your Tylenol. You're drinking that. That you are drinking. Your Benadryl is pretty bad, Rico. I'm glad you kind of, I'm actually kind of glad you ate beforehand because that way if you get sleepy, you might sleep yeah. right, through, right through lunch. Right, you ready? What do you want to do it yourself? Let me do it. Okay. Sometimes it's easier for y'all to do it at your own pace. This is all the Tylenol. Goes in kind of fast sometimes. That's why I sometimes do like just do it yourself. No. Yeah. Okay. And then this one. All Tylenol. It's supposed to be great for you, but it can be pretty bad. Do you know if Dr. Rawson is coming in later? I think she said she might. She said she's here today, so I don't know if maybe. If so, it would probably be like after clinic hours. Yeah. Probably just to see how we do after the infusion. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have your water. Like this one's yours, right? Yeah. You're welcome. You just hello, so hello. she just start. Hello. Hey. All right. So this didn't go well, huh? We're still not looking. Yeah. Like so here we are. We gave it up. We gave it our best shot, and she had a, a what they call a, what do they call it? A sensitive reaction. Hi Hypersensitive. Yeah. So she broke out in hives. They were all over At, her. Yeah, early, early on, like they bumped it from fifty to a hundred. Like, okay, first she threw up yeah. when they had it, and it at was the at lowest fifty. And she, okay, let me start from the beginning. The treatment she was supposed to be getting was 600 milligrams of rituximab intravenously. Mm -hmm. When they first started, they were doing it at 50 milliliters for per 50 milligrams, 50 milligrams per hour. Yeah. And then she got nauseous and she vomited. And then they waited a little longer than they normally would have to bump it up. But then when they bumped it up, about maybe 20 minutes after they bumped it up, she broke out in hives all over her face. 
They bumped it up to 100 millig milligrams per hour. She only got maybe 120 milligrams out of 600 that she was supposed to get before she started breaking out in hives all over her face. So the doctors have decided that it's no longer worth the risk to continue giving it to her. So they cut the treatment off. Yeah, I got some footage of her face, but that's not even like, they appeared immediately as soon as they bumped it up and then they like disappeared immediately. And I couldn't, I couldn't get it when it was really bad. I got it after they had already started going away. But yeah, they were like obvious big red whelps yeah, on her face. It was, it was hives. And so they stopped it. They're gonna prescribe her some Zyrtec she had already taken Benadryl before the treatment, honestly, in an effort to avoid this. And the fact that it happened anyway is a big part of the reason why they decided not to continue the treatment. Yeah. So they're going to monitor her closely for the next few hours. Uh, they said if nothing, if nothing happens, we can go home. Uh, we probably, you know, we're keeping this kind of short because we probably need to get out there in case any nurses come in or in case she does have a reaction. We kind of want to be out there. So that we can call the nurses, but we just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. So this was kind of a fail. Yeah, you, you can't see it as anything less than a fail, you know. Yeah. Uh, as soon as we know what our next steps are, we'll let you guys know. We were really hoping that this would be a path that we could take, but it's yeah. become obvious that we're going to have to find another way. Yeah, the doctor actually said that, you know, even after one of these, she could be kind of considered in remission if it made her kidneys stop leaking. But, but the fact that she couldn't, she never, she didn't even get halfway through the treatment. No, she, she didn't even get a fourth of the way through the yeah. treatment. Like it was, but I mean, I'm glad they stopped it when they did. I'm glad they, you know, we caught it when we did because if she's the type of person like it can, this medicine, rituximab, can have severe life altering yeah, have, reactions. So, so we're thankful that it wasn't any worse than it was, but we're also left wondering, you know, what our next move will even be. Yeah, it's it's not good for her that her kidneys are just constantly leaking protein and blood. Like it's not. It's not causing any major problems right now, but if it just continues over years and years and years, it will. So we're just not really sure what our next steps are. But uh, yeah, we just wanted to share this experience with you guys. Really, the, the biggest reason we wanted to do this video in particular is because we could not find any information on children getting this treatment. Uh, on YouTube or, or anywhere else. Yeah. So we wanted to share our story with this drug in particular, but also a continuation of our journey with Tamia. Yeah. So it's going to continue. You know, we were hoping this maybe might have been the beginning of the end, but the journey continues. So we'll keep you guys updated and let you know what our next steps are. And just continue to pray for us, please. We, we really appreciate your prayers and support. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.